Hello everyone. So, it's been a while since I've last made a Trackmaster custom, and there's a reason to that. It's mainly because I've been wanting to really make my customs good. Now, there are a couple Trackmaster customs that I am proud of that I have made, but a lot of the customs I've made aren't exactly that great. Uh, uh. So, what I've been wanting to do was put a lot more effort and time into making customs. So to start off my new and improved Trackmaster customs, the first engine we will be taking a look at is an engine that literally took me over a month to make. And that engine is Bluebell. Here is my Trackmaster custom of Bluebell finally complete after over a month of work. This was by far one of the hardest customs I've ever made, believe it or not. And I am very, very happy with how she came out. This has to be probably one of my favorite customs I've ever made. And there's a lot to say about her, so let's get into how I made this custom. To make this custom, I used a 2009 Mattel Trackmaster Thomas, which was heavily modified. Believe it or not, I actually reused all the parts from my original Bluebell custom to make this updated one. And oh my god, my original Bluebell custom is bad. My updated Bluebell is so much better than the original one. Anyway, the modifications that were done to the original Trackmaster Thomas was shortening the side tanks, a flat running board at the front, a boiler for the part that was missing, and getting rid of one of the cab windows. To extend the side tanks so that they are separate from the cab, I used pieces of plastic from a Trackmaster 2 Thomas. The same was also done for the coal bunker. The coal bunker was also shortened because the original Thomas one was too tall. Now for the boiler. What I used was a plastic pipe that I cut down so that it would fit perfectly underneath the already existing part of the boiler. Once I got the shape correct, I glued it and sanded it down with Tamiya putty a lot of times. Actually, Tamiya putty was used for this whole project and it was very time consuming. Sanding and then putting more putty, and then sanding, and then putting more putty. It was very tedious. After finishing everything on the engine and got it to the way that I wanted it to look, I sprayed it with primer, which is actually the first time I've used primer on one of my customs, and I highly recommend using it. It is very good to have. I made a lot of custom decals for Bluebell as I wanted it to look really good and also because Bluebell has a very complicated livery so I decided that this would be the easiest route to go. In terms of details, there are lots of them. I added handrails and a safety valve, pinstripes on the front of the side tanks as well as in front of the cab, Westinghouse pumps and handrails on one of the side tanks as well, and windows on the back and front of the cab. The face is from a 2013 Wooden Roy Rosie with added eyeliner. I also added LBSC styled smokebox saddles on the front. Alright, now let's see Bluebell running on the layout.
Right, so that was my Trackmaster custom of Bluebell. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of this custom? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.